You're watching TCM, I'm Alicia Malone, and let's continue our afternoon programming with a romantic drama directed by Ilya Kazan. From 1961, it's Splendor in the Grass. This Oscar-winning screenplay is by William Inge, the playwright and novelist whom Ilya Kazan worked with on the Broadway play The Dark at the Top of the Stairs in the late 1950s. While they were in the middle of that production, Kazan mentioned to Inge he thought they should make a film together. Inge then told him a story about teenagers in love in Kansas, which they developed and took to Warner Brothers. The two central characters are Wilma and Bud, who live in Kansas in the late 1920s and are trying to cope with the pressures put on them by their school and their parents, while also dealing with their own burgeoning sexual desires. For the role of Wilma, or Deanie as she's nicknamed, William Inge suggested Natalie Wood. She had already played a troubled teen in Rebel Without a Cause, earning her first Oscar nomination, and had also starred as a pregnant young woman in All the Fine Young Cannibals. She was in her early 20s at the time and was married to Robert Wagner, but was still thought of in the industry as being a former child star. Ilya Kazan almost dismissed her as being exactly that, but Robert Wagner said Wood was so hungry for the role she agreed to test for it. When Kazan met up with Wood, he was impressed with her determination, as well as her skills as an actress, and he saw a twinkle in her eyes that he identified as being unsatisfied hunger. With that, Kazan knew Wood was up for this challenge. And as for Warren Beatty, that suggestion also came from William Inge, who had seen Beatty on television and then cast him in his play A Loss of Roses. This film was to be Warren Beatty's feature debut. From 1961, also with Barbara Loden and Sandy Dennis, this is Splendor in the Grass. Despite the drama on screen, director Ilya Kazan said it was a pleasure to be on the set of Splendor in the Grass with its well-crafted script by William Inge and a cast filled with veterans and promising newbies. Warren Beatty was delighted to be making his feature film debut and watched Kazan as he directed the actors and placed the camera, all skills that would come in handy when Beatty himself became a director in the late 1970s. During the making of Splendor in the Grass, Natalie Wood was married to Robert Wagner, who said that Wood thought Beatty was quite scruffy and had bad hygiene. <laughs> they certainly made for a sexy pair on film, and a few years later, Wood and Beatty would get together in real life. For her performance in Splendor in the Grass, Wood was nominated for her second Oscar and first as lead actress, cementing her status as a fine young actress who would continue to have a strong career well past her time as a child star. Okay, we need to take a quick break, but when I return, it'll be time to watch a 1979 drama about a magnificent horse produced by Francis Ford Coppola and starring Mickey Rooney.